Lord Jesus. Why don't we just pray for a little bit right now in Jesus' name. Father, we thank you, Lord, for your presence that is here, God, in this place. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we enter into your gates with thanksgiving, O oh God. And we enter your courts with praise. We're thankful unto you, O oh Lord. And we bless your name. Father, for the second day, Lord, I call to all. God, in Jesus' name, we thank you for all the churches that have joined along with us and allowed us to join with them, God, all over the world, Lord, in different time zones. Praying, oh God, believing, oh Lord. God, believing for a worldwide revival, Father. Believing, oh Lord, for something, oh God, that only you can do, oh King. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, we cannot have more cotori and Dalayana Cassitereca. No, we are Dalayana Cassitereca. No, we enter into your gates with thanksgiving, O God, into your courts. We praise, we're thankful unto you and bless your name, O God. For your name is great, Father. Lord, you've given a name that is above every name, that in the name of Jesus, every knee will bow. Every tongue will confess, O oh Lord, to your glory, to you, O oh God, and even our Father, in we thank you, Lord, for all the prayers of God, oh God, that have gone up from the East Coast, Lord, all the way over here to the West Coast and around the world, oh God. Lord, we pray together as one body, Lord, we one mind. Believe me, O oh God, for the end time promise of revival, O King. Believe me, O Lord, for great things, greater things than these shall we do, O oh God, because you have empowered us with your spirit. We're grateful, O oh Lord. Somebody begin to fill your heart and your mind with gratefulness, with thankfulness, with gratitude. To God, what He has done for you, only you know. For He has shown you from the pit that He has dug you out of. All the sin that He has forgiven you of. Out of that Lord, most gratitude, oh God. We worship you, we worship you, we worship you. Thank you for the privilege, oh God, oh, of knowing you, Lord, and being known by you, oh God. Thank you for the privilege, Father, oh, of the hope of salvation, oh God. The privilege of being filled with your spirit, the revelation, oh, of the power of repentance, oh God, the revelation, oh Lord. And being buried together with you in the waters of baptism, oh God. Calling upon your name, washing our sins through the work of the cross. We're grateful, oh God. Ah, we're grateful, oh Lord. We're thankful, oh Lord. He cannot Let gratitude flow from your heart. Let thankfulness come deep within. Open the innermost core of your being. Oh, thankfulness unto the Lord. Glory to you, O God. Glory to you, O King. Glory to you, Jesus. You're the only one, O Lord, that is worthy. You're the only one, O God. Oh, that has died for us. Uh, humble yourself even the death of the cross. We're thankful for it, Father. We're thankful, Father, 
or what is man, O oh Lord, that you are mindful of him. And the Son of Man, O oh God, that you visit us, O oh Lord, for you have made us, O oh Lord, an Elohim, as close to you, made in your image, O oh God. We're thankful for your love, Father. We're thankful for the calling, O Lord. Father, we're thankful for the hope of salvation. We're thankful that it is all you that causes us both to will and to do of your good pleasure, O God. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, O God. In the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, thank you, Father, thank you, Father. The Bible says that we should put on the whole armor of God, that we may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. This spiritual warfare that we are a part of, it is fought with us standing. Standing on the Word of God and the instructions of God. We don't wrestle with flesh and blood. We don't wrestle against people, but against principalities, against powers, against rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. And as a result, God has given us His armor. It is not our armor. Hallelujah. Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God. It is God's armor. It is proven. It is tested. It works. It is founded upon His Word. It is covered by His blood. That we may be able to withstand in the evil day. And having done all to stand, we stand therefore. Having therefore our loins girt about with truth. What we believe is the truth of the Word of God. It is the belt of truth. It is the truth that holds everything together. When you pray tonight, you're standing on the empowerment of the Word of God that is truth. You can trust in that Word. You can trust in that truth. Hallelujah. And having on the breastplate of righteousness. It is not your righteousness or mine. It is the righteousness that God gives to us through the power of His blood. Oh, that He imputes unto us righteousness without works. We don't deserve it. But the goodness of the Lord leads us to repentance. And we can put on the breastplate of righteousness in your feet. Covered with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Above all, taking the shield of faith. When you pray tonight, I want you to believe your prayer. When you pray tonight, I want you to realize who you are praying to and who is praying through you. It is the Lord. Jesus Christ, you are able to quench all the distractions, all the darts of the enemy that try to hinder the church. And we put on the helmet of salvation, which is and the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, God. Amen. Bringing attention to verse 15, it talks about having your feet covered with the preparation of the gospel of peace. 
I feel like right now we need to practice uh, and put into, into motion what you have been taught uh, as far as covering your feet. Amen. This wrestling match is dependent on the strength of your, pe of your feet. Yes, amen. The analogy is the Grecian wrestling match, which is to the death. And it doesn't mean, and it doesn't even matter how big the person is, it just depends on the footing. When Jacob wrestled with the angel of the Lord, he touched the hollow of his thigh. And this is an analogy that you're when you begin to enter into spiritual warfare tonight, that your feet is covered with the preparation of the gospel of peace. How do you do that? Amen. We're going to do some self-check tonight. It's four steps. It's really simple. It starts with unforgiveness. If you need to forgive somebody, if you need to forgive yourself, if you need to forgive God even, or allowing things. Amen. And then if you have any unrepented sin, you repent it before the Lord. And if you repent, God forgives you. You cast your cares, whatever's troubling you, whatever is your responsibility, it is no longer yours. It is God. And you surrender the will, your will, to the will of God tonight. Hallelujah. Let's do this right now, Father. Lord, I forgive, oh God. People, oh Lord, that have offended me in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, words spoken, oh God, that still bother me, Lord, that still attaches itself from time to time in my mind, oh God. Lord, for the human emotion is frail, oh Lord, it's fragile, oh God. Lord, words indeed hurt, oh God, even more so than physical wounds. So right now we come before you because we want to have a secure footing as we wrestle tonight in prayer, O oh Lord, guaranteed victory through your blood. God, you told us as we put on the armor to cover our feet with the preparation of the gospel of peace. So we prepare ourselves right now, God, by forgiving, O oh Lord. God, the only thing that stands between us and heaven is unforgiveness. You can't forgive us if we don't forgive, O oh God. Lord, just as you've forgiven us, we forgive ourselves and we forgive others and we forgive even you, O oh God, for allowing things that we do not understand. Come on, somebody begin to push. Begin to push against the resistance. Begin to push in the name of Jesus Christ. Begin to prepare yourself, your feet, your secure footing. Prepare your feet with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Father, I forgive. Lord, things that have happened in my childhood, oh God, that I did not have control over, oh Lord. I forgive, oh God, in the name of Jesus Christ. The things that I carry today, oh Lord, that is a result of my upbringing, oh God. Lord, I forgive in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, the things, oh God, that we be who I am today because of circumstances and events in my upbringing, oh Lord. God, I forgive. Some of us need to forgive our parents right now. In the name of Jesus, they may not even be around anymore. But would you forgive from the heart? Would you forgive from the mind? Would you forgive from the spirit? Oh, 
Now release the spirit of forgiveness, O Lord, upon us, O God. Lord, let it visit, O God, our consciousness and even our subconscious mind, O Lord. Things that are buried deep within us, O God. We expose them to you right now, Holy Ghost. That you could, O Lord, wipe it clean. As we forgive, O God, you forgive us. Lord, visit our past and begin to erase it, O Lord. Visit our past, O God, and begin to forgive it, O Lord. Lord, visit our present right now and begin to forgive it, O God. Lord, visit our future in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we are all the same yesterday, today, and forever, O Lord. I feel it lifting, O Lord, off of us, O God. I feel it lifting off of us, O Lord. Burdens have been carried for years, O God. Things, O Lord, buried in weak within. That you are healing right now. That you are delivering right now in the name of Jesus Christ. I release spiritual health to the spiritual warrior tonight, O oh God. I release spiritual health to our spiritual warriors tonight in the name of Jesus Christ. Would you repent of your sin right now in the name of Jesus Christ? Would you repent of your humanity right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ? Oh, if we say we sin, we lie. And the truth is not in us. But if we confess our sins, He is just. He is faithful to forgive us of all our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Father, I come to you as I am, Lord, frail, a human, oh God, man of dust. Lord, in this body, O oh God, I know in this flesh dwelleth no good thing, O oh Lord. For sometimes the will is present, but to perform that which is good, we find not, O oh God. Oh, in us, Lord, a warring, a tendency, O so God, a tendency, O oh Lord, to please you. Oh God, in the tendency of this flesh, even as the apostle Paul said, Oh wretched man, that I am who shall deliver me from this body of death. But thanks be unto God, through Jesus Christ, we have redemption, we have forgiveness of sins. So we repent right now, O God. Repentance is a conscious decision. Repentance is a conscious decision. Be it transformed by the renewing of your mind. That you may prove what is good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Would you begin to decide things in your mind right now? I'm not going to do it anymore, Lord. I'm not turning back, oh God. I'm not going to think those thoughts anymore, oh Lord. Even as you've forgiven me, I forgive myself. Oh God, we cannot let every thought be captive to the knowledge of the Lord Jesus Christ. Let every thought be filtered to the Word of God. That whatever we do in word or in deed, that we may do it in the name, filtered by the name, filtered by the word in Jesus' name. Come on, somebody begin to cleanse yourself to the power and the privilege of repentance. Lord, every thought, God, every ungodly thought, oh Lord, every thought that's filled with fear, because fear is not from you, O King. I thank you, I thank you, Lord, a man that controls his tongue, 
is able to control the whole body alone. As James wrote about God, though we confess God words we've spoken in jest, in jokes, O oh Lord. God, every idle word, we will give an account on judgment day. I want to confess it now. I want to confess now every word, God. Life and death is in the power of our tongue, oh Lord. I confess it now. I don't want to wait the judgment day, Lord. I want every word that I've spoken, oh God, to be under the blood and covered by the blood. He no, let me yield my tongue to the Holy Ghost speaking your language. Lord, every day, every morning, the first thing that I say would be your language, O oh God, and not the language of men, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. I speak to those of God that are here or those that are listening online, oh God, that you begin to convict them, oh Lord, with what they speak in the name of Jesus Christ. I loose upon them conviction, God. Lord, within the body first, within the body of Christ, this judgment begins in the house of God. Lord, let there be no idle word, oh God. Let there be no curse word, Lord. Spoken in anger, oh God. Spoken in the heat of emotion, oh Lord. The conviction visit your people. Let the fear of the Lord visit us, oh God. Come on, somebody begin to help me pray for conviction to saturate the people of God. For conviction of what we say and what we do not say. The visit every person, every child of God, every church, every minister, every youth and adult, every man. Your kingdom alone is voice activated, oh God. Help us to speak, oh Lord, what only you tell us to say. It's very important that we get this, oh God. It's very important when we understand that what we say sets things in motion. And what we do not say withholds things, oh God. Even as your word said to speak to the mountain, and it shall be moved. As a child of God, filled with the Holy Ghost, we have created power in us. For you are in us, O oh God, the Creator. So we speak only, O oh Lord, what you tell us. And not speak, God, the things that you do not tell us, O oh Lord. That we would set life in motion and withhold death, O oh God, with the power of the tongue. Visit, oh God, every lighthouse person, Lord. Visit every church member all over this country and even the world, God. That we begin to be convicted of what we say. Baptize us, oh Lord, with boldness. Oh God, to speak your word in love. God, even as Paul jabbed Timothy, not to be timid, oh God, to stir up the gift that you've given us, oh Lord. I plead your blood upon our words. I plead your blood upon our mouth. I plead your blood upon our tongue, oh God. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus Christ.
that you may give us the privilege, Lord, what you gave the prophet Samuel, oh God, that you did not let any of his words fall to the ground. Lord, we need that when this revival is set in full motion, oh Lord, that you back up the words of your people. Oh, as one of the signs, oh God, we shall speak with you tongues. We shall speak with new languages. We shall speak differently, O oh God. We shall speak with boldness, O oh Lord. We shall speak and repeat what we hear. It will be given to us in that day what to say, O oh Lord. From heaven in the name of Jesus. Settle in our souls. Let that deep conviction, O oh Lord, of what our mouth utters and articulates, O oh Lord, settle in our souls right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Forgive me, Lord, of the things that I've done, God, and the things that I have not done, O Lord. Things that I committed and things that I've omitted, O Lord. God, cost me both to win. Lord, cost me both to do. Of your good pleasure, Father, I can't live for you, O God. But I need your grace, your power to live through me. My faith is insufficient, O Lord. I need the faith of the Son of God. I live by the faith of the Son of God in the name of Jesus Christ. Iyana katorondo rokotori anda la katana mahaya. Iyanda rana na mokotori anda la haya. I plead your blood upon my feet, O Lord, that it may take you, take me, O God, to your house. That wherever it takes me, O God, that it would be your will, O Lord. That it would bring me closer to you, O God. Closer to the fulfillment of your will for my life in the name of Jesus Christ. Guide these feet, O Lord. Guide these feet, O God. Guide my hands, O Lord. I plead your blood upon it. That I may heal my members, my body, O God, as instruments of righteousness, O Lord. Oh, for whatever, whoever we yield it to, we become a servant to it, O God. We want to be your servants, Father. So we yield our bodies as instruments of righteousness unto life, O God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Yoro na kotori anda la ya na kaka sanda la hae. Yori anda la ya na kipele kaka la ya na kaka siku la hae. Yo na na kipele anda ra na yo no koto ste. Yori anda na na kipele anda ya na kaka ste. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Would you cast your cares upon him right now? In the name of Jesus Christ, every responsibility that you have, don't do it out of your own strength. Don't do it out of your own intellect or your ingenuity, but do it through the power of his grace and the power of the name, the empowerment that's in you, the gift of the his, of his spirit. Jesus, I cast my cares, Lord. Oh, the care for the church, oh God. Oh, the prayers for all the saints, oh Lord, their souls, their salvation, the finances of the church, Lord. My family, oh God. Lord, their souls, their future in you, oh Lord. Their education, their finances associated with it, oh God. Lord, I cast my cares upon you, God. I know and we believe that you care for us. 
I will not fear, O oh God. I will not any entertain any fear, Lord, nor doubt, O oh God. I cast my cares upon you. My, God, my, my safety, O oh Lord. My, my protection in the church's I protection really against this virus, O oh God. I and what's going to happen, Lord, God, after the election, O oh God, we cast our cares upon you in the name of Jesus Christ. Come on, somebody, don't carry anything right now. Don't carry anything right now. There's anything that's uh, holding you down and weighing you down. Cast it upon the Lord. Cast it upon the Lord, your family, your husband, your wife, oh, your children. That's right, go ahead. Give those responsibilities to God. That's right, come on, go ahead. Give those responsibilities to God. Oh, it's not meant for you to carry alone. It's not a burden for you to carry alone. God, we're going to quit all on worrying and being in control by casting our cares. Come on, somebody, would you resign control? Would you surrender that will and cast that care in the name of Jesus Christ? You'll have more peace. God's Spirit will flow more through you. You'll be able to hear His voice more. Cast that responsibility. All I can that control. I speak to it right now in the name of Jesus Christ as we unburden ourselves, as we cast it down away from us, away from our mind, that it will not be troubled, that we will not respect, that we will not be affected, that we will not emotions and worries and doubt, we cast it unto you, cast your cares upon him, he cares, he cares for you more than you can understand. And he does a better job at it, of taking care of it. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, feel it lifting off of you right now in Jesus' name. Feel it lifting off of you right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, get adjust to it, adjust to it, not carrying it, adjust to not worrying about it. Every time it comes up again in your mind, cast it unto the Lord. Cast it unto the Lord. Would you surrender your will right now? Every day, every day our will needs to be surrendered. We need to surrender our will. Even the man 
Christ Jesus surrendered surrender his will, he his preference of uh, not going to the cross. I he prayed three times, Father, if it be possible that this cup uh, pass from me, nevertheless, not my will. Lord, you know what's good for us. We want your will and not ours, oh God. This human will has been in charge for far too long, Lord. We've been used to it, oh God, of taking charge. The Lord help us not to rely on our own mind anymore. Help us not to decide for our own self anymore, oh God. Let us surrender our will. To surrender this human will. Let me thank you, Lord, even as the apostle Paul prayed. Let me surrender my will every day, God. That I may know you have one of your pursuit. Every day that I may walk in it by your grace, so God. He can not run, not run, not run, not There's obvious things that we need to surrender. And we all know what that should be. Oh, and there's other things that are hidden. There's other things that are part of us. Learn behaviors, oh God, that we want to surrender, oh Lord. Your will, oh Lord, that we may take the yoke, your yoke, upon us, oh God. Lord, that yoke, oh Lord, that is so Lord symbolic of a beast of burden, oh God, yoked together with you. And it is no longer us, oh Lord, moving, oh God, that it is no longer us. Yo, 
believe you're able to change them. Some of them are sons. Some of them are your daughters. Begin to pray right now. Begin to pray right now. Begin to believe. The anointing of God is upon you. Speak in the name of Jesus Christ. Speak those words that God is giving you for that person. He
Lord, preach deliverance to the captives. Would you speak right now to those that you know that are bound, bound by sin, bound by bound by drugs, bound by relationships, after relationships, bound by sex, bound by perversion, bound by wickedness. Would you begin to preach right now in the Holy Ghost and begin to speak right now? Deliverance to the captives or driving the Lord spiritual wickedness back to its gates. We're driving them back by the authority and the power that is in the name of Jesus and by the anointing that is upon us, your body, your church. We
Amen. Would you begin to speak in tongues right now, refreshing tongues? Would you practice that? Would you just talk in tongues? Amen. Oh, let God, the stammering lips and another tongue will speak to his people. Let him give you rest right now as you speak in tongues. This is the rest. This is the refreshing. We're not done yet. We're going to the second, maybe the third or the fourth phase. But you need rest right now in your soul. Hallelujah. Would you just close your eyes? Would you lift up your hands? And would you just speak in tongues? There is a way to speak in tongues, stammering lips and another tongue that gives you rest. You're not worshiping. There's nothing wrong with worshiping, but you speak in tongues to where God gives you rest. This is the rest, referring to tongues. This is the refreshing, referring to stammering lips. And another tongue, the way to do that is just to speak in tongues. Let your mind be at rest. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yes, continue to pray. Continue to pray in the spirit, refreshing tongues. If this is new to you, it is praying in tongues to receive strength. It's not giving out of emotions, withhold emotions. It's not worship tongues that's joyful, but it's refreshing tongues like you're receiving strength. And you will receive that physically as well in Jesus' name. Continue. Continue. As we, as we move to the different wave of the Holy Ghost, the face of the Spirit, let us receive strength tonight. Pray. Pray in the Spirit. Practice that. Without emotions. It's very calm. It's very calm. It's very calm. That's right. There are different types of tongues. This is one of them in prayer that we should pray every time. Remember, no emotions. Other tongues can bless us, but we need refreshing tongues right now. In the name of Jesus. That's right. That's right. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for the Holy Ghost, O God. For the Spirit that you give to us, O God. Thank you, Lord, O God, for the works you've already done tonight, O God. As we started, Lord, yesterday, O God. Lord, O God, the things you have done already in the Spirit, O God. Lord, but you are also going to do great things tonight, O God. You've already started it, Lord. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. I give you the glory, O God. Why don't we give him the glory for what he's already done? He deserves all the glory. Lord, O God, thank you for the healings, O God. Thank you for the revelation, O God. Thank you, Lord, O God, for giving us, Lord, your gifts, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, O God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, O God. We give you the glory, O God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. In the name of Jesus, I, I feel I feel in the spirit earlier as the pastor was praying. I, I I felt God saying that for those of you that are here, you hungered for things that you could not experience. And tonight he said. You shall receive that impartation, what you hungered for, in the name of Jesus. And I don't know when God is going to pour that, but I, I'm speaking it so that your faith, your faith will be open to receive when it's time for the impartation that you will receive because of your hunger. And those of you that want more, he's going to give it to you tonight, he said. Even knowledge, because there's power in knowledge, and there's power in the layer of understanding. He's going to release that as well tonight. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, and he's going to do other things in the spirit if you allow him to work. If you flow in his spirit, he's going to do other things. Things that you probably didn't imagine he's going to do, he is going to do tonight in the name of Jesus. I feel the flow right now to pray for the body, the body of Christ. That's you, that's me. Let's pray. Let's pray for the body right now in the name of Jesus. Yora Kisiera, Yoro Koisiera. 
for the body needs to be full of the Lord, for we are his hands, we are his mouthpiece, we are his feet. We need to be full of him in the name of Jesus. Of religious tradition 
body and out. As we pray for the body, we will be binding things and loosing things in the spirit in the name of Jesus. I bind every voice of shame and every lying accusation that is attacking the body of Christ right now in the name of Jesus. Jesus, 
accept everything that he allows because his hand is upon everything. He controls everything. That's the love of God. Controlling every part of your life. We will trust in you, Father. We will trust in you, Lord. We will trust in you, Father. In the name of Jesus, Lord, I lose the image of Christ in us and through us, oh God. I lose the revelation of who we are in Christ and whose we are, oh God, that we may walk, Lord, in your confidence, oh God, in your boldness, oh God, that we may accomplish your will, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Is that your desire? Yes, Lord of God, every part of God that you give to me, Lord, I will follow, oh God. Every step, oh God, that you tell me to do, I will follow, oh God. Lord, not my will, oh God, but your will, oh God. I surrender everything unto you, Father. That's right. God has done some works tonight. You will never be the same again. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, yes. In the name of Jesus, Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Lord, I lose your liberty, O God, upon them, O God. Your liberty upon your body, O God, in the name of Jesus. I lose your favor upon them, O God. Lord, O God, in their city, O God, in their neighborhood, O God, in their county, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, O God. Thank you, Lord, O God. upon your body in the name of Jesus. I lose the spirit of warfare and intercession upon your body in the name of Jesus. I lose the spirit of travail intercession upon your body in the name of Jesus that we may continue to pray and pray and roar for the souls to be ready all for his harvest and the lost souls Let's do some refreshing times before we transition to the next floor in Jesus' name. As you pray refreshing tongues, that helps you when you go in deep warfare. It gives you the strength. Or if you go in deep travail as well, 
for a long time especially when you're warring in the spirit you need refreshing tongues if you feel you don't get your breakthrough yet you just in between you just pray in the holy ghost don't worry you're still in the peace of god okay you're still in the flow of the spirit but if you need that you just do refreshing tongues and then go back into warfare or travail and the spirit leads until you get the breakthrough in jesus name you will always be Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Now, we need to pray for God's will to be done in our nation. Amen? For the coming elections. For the president who's going to occupy the next term, we need to pray for God's will to be done. You may ask that if God has all the power, which he does, amen, right? His throne is in heaven, amen? He's a creator of all things. He owns everything, amen? amen? Then why do we need to pray for his will to be done? And I'll give you several reasons. Because he commands it in his word, amen? In Matthew 6 and Luke 11. He commands us, he commands us for the church, his body, to pray for his will to be done here on earth, okay? And so as Pastor was saying earlier, your belt of truth, right? It's everything we believe in. The Word holds everything together. Anything that is not supported by the Word of God, we should not believe in it, right? We only want to believe what's in the Word of God, and so we obey the Word of God. Sometimes, you know, understanding comes later on, but obedience, he requires obedience first. Obedience first, okay? You see it in the Word, you read in the Word, you do, we obey his will, okay? Okay, next, also, foundational reason is because there are those that are resisting God's will, right? Both human and divine, okay? Human and divine opposition that needs to be defeated, okay? And who has that power? The Lord, right? Okay, right? The great I am, amen? The ruler of all things, amen? Thank <laughs> you. 
Put it for your children. Put it for your children. 
children. Put it for your children. Put it for your children. Shikola Mosaye. But I'm a sucker of the higher. The other of the higher. There's still time. There's still a little bit of a time right now. Ikola, their salvation is not over yet. It's not over yet. You need to believe that right now. It's not over yet. They can still be saved. But I'm a Kosakaye. Inanda Ramahasakaye. Inanda Ramahasakaye. Ikola Ramahasakaye. I pray, oh Lord, for every single part of my family. If they lost the faith, if they backslidden, oh Lord, oh God, and they've fallen into false doctrine, I pray that you call them back. I pray that you awaken them. He call them up. Awaken them out of their sleep. Awaken them out of their sleep. He call them a second day. He call them a second day. That they will not be bound by that spirit of false doctrine. Oh, they may all pray against you right now. Lord, of a second day.
Amen. This is day number two. Tomorrow we're going to come back Wednesday at 7 p.m. Amen. And we're going to pray again in Jesus' name. As we dismiss from this place, don't forget that the Bible encourages us to pray without stopping. Right. It just means having a mind that to be used by God to pray at any time. When God begins to quicken your mind, you just right. pray. Right. It doesn't have to be loud if you're at work, you just pray. Right. You pray in tongues, the good thing about having a mass now, you can just pray in tongues. Right. And people don't even know what you're doing in Jesus' right. name. Thank you. So I bless you. We're going to come back again tomorrow, 7 p.m. In Jesus' name, praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God.